Welcome back to the Jeff Irwin Show. Once upon a time, the unicorn was known as a fierce symbol of Scotland. Magical and powerful, capable of purifying water with its horn. Which is exactly why Scottish independence campaigners decided to build a 16-foot edifice of it that they could tout around at their independence campaigns. They hadn't considered that the biggest fans of unicorns nowadays are little girls. Little girls who buy things like Sparkles, My Dancing Unicorn, and Unicorn Poo Modeling Clay, rare, stinky, and magical. For commentary on the use of the unicorn as a symbol of Scottish independence, we go to our special correspondent, William, the unicorn. William? Thanks for the invitation, Jeffrey. William, what's your position on Scottish independence? Frankly, I could give two farts for it. Whatever situation's going to yield less poo thiever is what I am after. There's far less rainbows nowadays, or hadn't you noticed? You're saying rainbows come from your poo? Well, where'd you think they come from? The rain? Well, yeah, that's why they call it a rainbow and not a poop bow. Don't be daft, Jeff. Okay. Learn something new every day, I guess, right? <laughs> so how do you feel about this, uh, fecal theft? It's really disheartening, Jeff. Especially without giving me a percentage. They're stealing me poo, for Christ's sake. Who does that? Some might argue that you don't need it anymore. Is your poo magical? Didn't think so. So how could you possibly relate to a bunch of capitalists running around stealing your droppings? It's downright disgraceful. Fair enough. Any other thoughts on Scottish independence? I just don't care about it, Geoffrey. It's all just a big bunch of bullocks. Some doughty dauber's idea of a way to separate people from people. Okay, well, what do you care about? Aside from poo thievery. <laughs> Look, Jeff, I'm a magical unicorn. I live on a different playing field. Different dimension, really. Right, a magical one. Exactly. From a magical perspective, all that's really, truly important is something your kind gets all squeamish and weird about. What's that? I'll tell ya, but don't be a walloper about it. What does that mean? Ah, <sighs> silly yanks. Just promise not to laugh. Okay, I promise. Love and affinity and more of it. Hmm, love and affinity. Yes, Jeffrey. Love is the true magic. <coughs> Are you laughing right now? No! <coughs> no! Are you certain? Looks like a tidbit of snickering. No, no snickering. I, I, I don't snicker. Are you sure? Because snickers really satisfies. <coughs> it's unwise to piss off a unicorn, Jeffrey. Whoa. That is rather... Framing. Look, I'm generally sorry if I offended you, William. Oh, relax. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> As I was saying. All you need is love. Big fan of the Beatles myself. Yes. And if you numpty humans would just get a grip and stop worrying so much about imaginary lines and start worrying about your environment, how much love you bring to people, we'd all be better off. Particularly my kind. Oh, is there a risk to unicorns? You're quite daft, aren't you, Jeffrey? How many unicorns have you met? Well, you're my first one. Two things unicorns need to survive. Clean forests and lots of love. At present, you've destroyed nearly a quarter of the world's forests, and you perpetuate a world where you value greed more than love? For Pete's sake, you can't even chat about it without giggling like an infant. So my kind are swiftly going the way of the dinosaur. Unless you flip it around somehow. How do we do that? Excellent question. How do we love more? Ah, maybe you're not that daft after all. Keep asking the right questions. It's your only hope. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. William, where are you going? Time to make a rainbow. Does that mean you have to take a crap? All right, that was cheap. Keep at it, Jeffrey. 
And don't let the pool pitch in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that in-depth reporting, William. I know we all learned a lot. And now, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 